Hi Cube fans, in this video we're going to look at rollup joins. Let's start with what is rollup. So in Cube, a rollup is a pre-aggregation that's made up of dimensions and measures that's saved or materialized in Cube Store. This is a fast caching layer that improves the query performance for your downstream applications. A rollup join is simply to perform a join between two rollups that are already inside of Cube Store. It's not materialized and it executes the join at runtime. So why might we need one of these? So the first use case, multi data source join or blend. For example, what we can see here with our Snowflake and our Postgres data source. If a query needs a data that spans multiple databases, you can run that in Cube to avoid an ETL or federation step. So for example, if I have my users metadata in my data warehouse in Snowflake and I've got my transactions in my Postgres read replica. I can bring in both of those datas, write their own cubes, make pre-aggregations for both cubes, and then bring those pre-aggregations together in a rollup join where I can access fields from both data sources in the same query. Another use case, if we have two tables that update at different frequencies and it's cost or time prohibitive to materialize the join in a single pre-aggregation, we can save the join operation for runtime with the rollup join. It's even possible to use these for user entitlements tables. So if you maintain your row level security entitlements mappings in a SQL table, you can rollup join that back to your business data pre-aggregation. Then you filter your query on provided user ID and you have an accelerated data set that respects your row level security rules. So let's take a look at a quick demonstration. We have a user's metadata table that's stored in our cloud data warehouse in Snowflake. We have our Postgres database with several cubes. We'll be looking at the orders table specifically here today. So in the users table, we have a pre-aggregation that's defined as the user rollup. It's the rollup type, and we are including a few dimensions that we want to bring in uh, and materialize in our cube store. We also have an index, which is the field that we're going to join the two rollups on. Then over in our orders table, or orders cube, we have additional dimensions, a measure, and then again, an identifier that's gonna be used in the join between orders and users. And we have our rollup join, which includes our definitions for which rollups, which pre-aggregations we're going to reference, our users and our orders rollups, and then we're bringing in the specific dimensions and measures that we want to use. So now let's take a look over in the playground to see this in action. We have again our users, we have fields from our users table and fields from our orders table, both of them brought into cube and rolled up as pre-aggregations. If we run this query, we're able to see we've got our data broken out here just as we expected and it was run fairly quickly through a pre-aggregation. Let's dive into that pre-aggregation. The SQL for our pre-aggregation here, this is what's run to our underlying data source. In this case, the underlying data source is CubeStore. So the SQL is going to look, uh, it's going to be in reference to everything that we have in CubeStore. In this case, we have the orders rollup and the users rollup and both of those are being joined here at runtime on the field that we defined, the orders user ID and then the ID from the users table. And then you can see in the pre-aggregation window that we are using the users and the orders rollups. So to recap, in Cube, if we want to join or blend together data from multiple databases, or we don't want to materialize fields from multiple cubes together before runtime, we can employ rollup joins to still leverage the performance of Cube's fast caching layer. If you have any questions, get in touch with us on Slack and happy data modeling.